hey guys and welcome to the channel so today we're going to hunt the two most deadliest animals in all of red dead redemption 2. uh today we're going to hunt both the panther and the cougar thought i'd just throw it all in one episode because uh, they're pretty much similar animals and they pretty much equally deadly as you guys could just see i just laid out some bait um, if you have some potent predator bait, it's a little bit better, but um, the regular predator bait will work as well because pretty much the only predator in this area right now is the panther. Uh, I'm on the lower end of the map and I will show you guys exactly where I am in just a moment. Now, I can tell you this. You pretty much only get one shot at this. Um, uh, they typically come out by the road, and if you're walking through the road, that you will see a little red blip on your marker. Even if you don't see the dot, you will see the area that the panther is um, coming from. It will show you. So make sure either one, you're downwind, but even most of the time that don't work. Number two is cover yourself up full of scent that will get a, a, a rid of the scent that you carry so the animal won't know where you are. So right now I'm just searching for the animal and I will sit here for a little bit to find it. So I will be honest with you. You can come here. I've come here and, and it's taken five minutes and I come here and it's taken a couple of hours. But this time I got a little bit lucky. Um, so I will show you guys what happens if you're not prepared and it does show up. So when you get here, though, first, make sure you save. So get to this spot and save. Actually, let me show you guys where we are on the map now. So it was at this point that I got a little bit cocky and I decided to go in and start picking flowers. Uh, mushrooms, actually. I don't know why, but when you start to pick stuff, that's when the animal typically shows up on you. And I, I think it's one of those sneak tack things. So you can hear the um, the panthers kind of like growl a little bit. So I'm like, all right, I'll get, get down and I'll, I'll hunt it. The problem is your gun goes away when you start to hunt it. So I try to swiftly go back to my bow and it was too late. Once it hops on your back, you're pretty much done. That's it. All right. So reloaded the checkpoint and the panther immediately showed up, guys. And like, this is how easy it is. So it's back to where my spot. So this works. This happened for me like three, four, five times. Uh, the problem is I died like four times because once it sneaks up on you, you're done. You need to be out in the clearing. So I highly recommend this. If you get a little antsy, just go into there. You will find him. Um, but it takes about two to three days for it to spawn. So if you die or if you kill it, you need to wait two to three days. I say three days and then it'll come back to make sure you save every time before you go into it. So I found it. It was a perfect three star. I killed one before, but it wasn't a three star. So you have to wait for the three star. So I, I, I aimed and I missed and then it started charging me and then I got lucky right there. And then the game auto-saved for me because it knew I had done something really good and it didn't want to hurt me. So it auto-saved for me and then I was able to get my perfect panther pelt. I was so ecstatic. I actually had it on mute at this time because I stopped commentating because it was so hard to get this panther. Like I, like I said, pitch a tent really close by. Go to this location and you will find it. I'm, I'm telling you, I found it every single time. The only time you won't find it is if it's not been enough days since the last time you killed it or you got killed by it. It will take a couple days to respond. So first thing you do after you get this panther, um, put the pelt on your horse so you don't lose it. And number two, um, put it up. So this is where we are again. I just wanted to show you guys one last time where we are on the map because uh, I know everyone likes to see that. So yeah. Hopefully this helped you. Let's move on to the next one. So immediately I got lucky on the cougar. I was just riding my horse by and then I just heard the sound of the big cat. So I just hopped off my cougar. Uh, sorry, hopped off my cougar. Hopped off my horse and then I just started tracking it down. I got a little scared. Um, but I can tell you this cougar is north of Annisburg. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Um, and I, you, you see the red blip, that's the red blip on the map I was telling you about. There's like a little red area. So it tells you that there's a predator. It might be a snake or a bear or something in that area. So what you do is you sneak up on it, make sure you got enough dead eye, make sure you fortify and you had saved. So I saw it, I made sure I tracked it so it wouldn't get away, but this bad boy wasn't afraid of me. The first time I came through on the horse, the horse got spooked, it threw you off. That's one key tip I wanted to tell you guys. You can try it on the horse, but if you get knocked off the horse, you'll fall on your back and you'll be unable to move for a while. So make sure that you're far enough away, like I have been on the first one and the second one. And by the way, this is the map where we are, north of Annisburg, top of the map, so you guys can see. 
and you sneak up on it be off your horse and get ready always hold down l2 and if and then when you get close or if it starts to charge you press r2 i have cover sent on again so uh, this time it won't charge me line up your shot make sure you hit that dead eye just to be sure you don't miss and the animal doesn't move because that'd be bad you don't want to ruin it and then it's just as simple as that guys that's the biggest advice I could tell you. I know these are the two hardest animals in the game. They get on your back, you're done, and they really hard to spawn, and they only spawn one at a time. So if it's not a three star, then I'm sorry, you just can't do anything about it. There is a talisman in the game uh, for hunting the bit buck that will allow you to get better three star animals, but I'm not there yet. I'm trying to do all this in chapter two. But anyway, I hope this helped you. This is both the big cats that you need in the game. If it does help you, do me a favor, smash that like button and leave a like and subscribe if you like to see more Red Dead Redemption 2 content. I appreciate you guys for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.